Twitch chat wants to see my Agubon deck profile, so today we are going to show it off. I'm going to show it off right now. Hopefully you guys can see some inspiration in the deck. I think that Agubon has a very good chance of doing well at Nationals. I really do. Without further ado, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, babies are just four Coromons. When attacking once per turn, draw a card if you're a Greymon. That's it. I like draw power. Draw power is really good. So we're playing four Coromons. Yep, pretty good card. Uh, you guys obviously know we're playing four Agubond. It is your boss monster. Um, this card is really freaking good. So when you have a Tamer in play, which you usually will, and you attack, you delete something with 13,000 DP or less, and then you burn a security, which is really good. What's important to know is it's a your turn, once per turn burn security. So let's say maybe somehow you like have this on the field and you atomic blast or something to death you still burn the security it is once per turn that's just a little funny little interaction that could happen um that's all but yeah good card it burns through security it takes checks uh this card is really good against setcon muskets like i think the matchup is free twitch chat might disagree with me but i've never had an issue against security control or muskets with this deck so agubon's really good card now I think the best Agumon in the deck is actually the new one we got in EX01 here. Um, it's the one with the Inheritable. When attacking once per turn, you reveal the top three cards of your deck, you add a Tamer card or Digimon card with Agumon in its name. Add it to your hand, place Thrust on your bottom. Agumon really had no super strong way of deck thinning. This helps. This helps a lot because it helps you with your Tamers, it helps you with your Agumons, grabs you a bond like it's really really good what's actually really really cool is it adds a card with agumon in the name so you can add agumon expert off of this card which is very strong so yeah i think this agumon's actually kind of the best one just because the deck doesn't have a whole lot of drawing and deck thinning besides it this will help you on brick which is really important i think it's super important then of course we're playing for the one from bt6 uh, all turns once per turn when you play a Tai Kamiya, you gain a memory, which is good. Um, and then Inheritable is really important. While this Digimon is Agumon Bond of Bravery, this card it has security plus one. So theoretically, you get to an end game, your opponent has three security left, right? You bond, you swing, you delete a blocker or something, you burn a security with the effect, you swing for two checks, and then you like a Goonimon for game or something. That's uh, effectively how you win with this. Uh, it's actually just really freaking good. So I like to see this card a lot. So I want to play four of it. Some people actually play three of it because it's not that good in some people's opinion. But I think four is fine. I think it's really good. Um, next, the rest of the Agumons are two ofs. We're playing two of the Tamers Search Agumon because I still want to be able to like have a way to access Tamers. Uh, this Agumon is way better than this. Don't get me wrong, because it's inheritable. But uh, on play, reveal 5, add Tamer. It's it's okay. It's fine. Uh, two of this Agumon from the new starter deck. We attack a player, gets plus 2,000 DP. Really good with cards like uh, Promo Greymon and stuff. Just a suggestion there. Uh, two of the original starter deck Agumon, just plus 1,000 DP. You know, it makes this 15,000. That could matter. That could come up. In the mirror match, you know, it could come up. Or I guess the bond match could come up. We're playing two of the promo Agumon, the one that says, well, this is a Greymon, gets plus 2,000. This one actually doesn't come up as much anymore. So we're only playing two of it right now, but uh, it's honestly good. Like, again, Greymons are strong, and that's okay. And then we're playing two Agumon Expert. Uh, on play, you return Agumon from your discard to your hand. Uh, you can Agumon loop, Expert loop against security control and muskets, which is really good because it grinds them out. Uh, but normally you just use this to add back other Agumons, Bonds, stuff like that. And that's it for Agumons. There's 18 rookies in this deck. 18 rookies is fine. It's great. You never brick. I have not bricked once with this deck in terms of drawing rookies. So that's pretty cool. 18 rookies I think is the way to go. I wouldn't play more or less, to be honest. That's already 22 cards. It's a lot of cards. Uh, champions. Promo Greymon. If it has an Agumon underneath it, security plus one. Really strong. It's potentially attacking for 7,000. Pretty strong in this format. Can take two checks really easily. For Geo Greymon. 
because I like having security bombs. It's also a Greymon, so it has some synergy with your deck. And uh, on play, you just delete something 4,000 or less. It comes up. It's good. It kills things like your Madoki Betas, random small blockers, annoying things, Gobblemons, Agumons in the mirror match. Random stuff. Good card. Um, we're playing three of the BT5 Greymon. When you evolve on top of an Agumon card, uh, you gain a memory. Or, sorry, Agumon. You gain a memory back, which is really cool. So, effectively, it's a one-cost Evo. And it's a Greymon, so it synergizes well with your stuff. Good good champion. The final three champions are three Goonimons, just to have hybrid button for game. That's it. I will try not to evolve into these ever until the end. And if I evolve into one, I probably have another one in my hand, unless I'm just drawing not optimally. So, 14 champions, most of them are Greymons, and the rest that aren't are win buttons. Good champion lineup. Good champion lineup indeed. 36 cards so far. Uh, Tamer is pretty simple. 4 tie. This allows you to turn your Agubond into a um, Agubond. Very important. And you can promote an Agumon or Greymon card, don't forget, to gain a memory and draw a card. So it's good. Good card. We're playing 3 Marcus. When you attack with a Greymon, you gain a memory. And uh, it's your memory Tamer that sets you to 3. So effectively, you know, I've said this before, but if you have this Greymon, you evolve for one, and you attack, you get the memory back. It's a free evolution. That's really strong. And then all the other Greymons just are freaking one attack, one cost attack, attack, one cost attackers. I can't talk. Really good tamer. Really good tamer. Uh, seven tamers. Good stuff. Final cards. One memory boost. Just one. The deck doesn't really need it, per se. The deck is kind of consistent. It's just Agumons, and it's Greymons. That's, that's all the deck is. But having the extra memory boost, maybe to go Goonie for game, kind of cool. Uh, two Atomic Blaster, four Gaia Force. I am playing this ratio in particular because I find Gaia Force in the EX01 meta to be a little bit better. A little bit better. That's all. That's what I think. I think it's just a little stronger. Yeah. Um, it hits bigger things. Bonds exist. Jessmon exists. And Tom Blaster is good at weaking, uh, clearing weaker bodies, and that happens sometimes. But you're fighting things now like Lilith Loop and big bodies, and it's just... I'd rather have the Gaia Forces than the Tonic Blasters, to be honest. Um, you can play 3 and 3. If you really hate the lower, like, lower scale, you can play 4 and 2. But this is just the way I like it right now, and it's working the best for me. That's it. That's it. Questions? Anyone have anything they want to say?